Okay. We often are so absorbed in our own agendas that we aren't really completely focused on another person. Uh, I really think most people I've ever met fall into that at some point. There is there is a woman that I know, her name is Nancy, and I swear to God, she is the best listener ever. I never feel like she isn't paying attention with her whole body, that she really is is much more interested in learning what another person has to say than she is in hearing herself talk. That's incredibly rare. Most people feel really good when they're the ones doing all the talking. They feel like that was a great party. That was a great meeting. That was a great interview. And you don't know anything about the other person who was in the room that it wasn't so great for them. Yeah. So we have to realize that the great has to go two ways. Right. The listening and the talking share. It's a, it's a shared experience. And as I said, listen with your whole body. Actually, it's very energizing and you're much more likely to be engaged if you're listening for changes in pitch, changes in energy, shift in the body. It's, you know, really looking at the eyes, looking at changes. How is that person changing as that person is rambling, for example? Is, is all of a sudden the, the voice speeding up? Like there's more energy behind whatever you're telling me now than what you told me before. And I thought you were answering my question before, but really you're much more engaged in, in when you're rambling. So that kind of thing can be very telling. And if we simply pay attention, there you go. Look at the gifts you get. Okay. 